There's yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubidium, a boron, gadolinium, niobium, iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and bismuth, chromium, lithium, beryllium, and barium. Welcome to the introduction video for the nuclear chemistry and radioisotope chapter. In this video, I'm quickly going to go over the actual content of this chapter, different videos, and what each video kind of consists of. So first, I'm going to cover the actual content videos, which are the, the videos with all the numbers. So I've numbered them from 1 to 8, and these are the actual videos. So each video covers one of these dot points. And when it comes to dot points, red means that it's just content, pure content, and blue means it's a secondhand investigation. So for secondhand investigations, that usually means you would have uh, analyzed some readings in terms of books or websites as well. And these content are just syllabus dot points. And when it comes to these, when it comes to your syllabus dot points and your uh, secondhand investigations, make sure to always look at your verbs. I'm just going to go for each of these and go for the verbs. I'm not going to explain what they mean because I do that in the videos. But for example, for this one, it says distinguish, that's a verb, and describe, that's a verb as well. Here we've got identify, here we have describe, describe, identify, describe the way in which and explain process information to describe recent discoveries use available evidence to analyze benefits and problems so when it comes to these verbs these are the verbs that will guide you in terms of what you need to know when it comes to the actual dot point now for the videos these dot points are actually really important because all your your HC exam questions will be based on these dot points um, so I wouldn't recommend to memorize. In my videos, I don't um, encourage memorizing either. Understand what it means and understand the, the actual content, and it'll be quite easy uh, to, or it'll be easier to do well in the exam. But make sure to try to sort of understand each dot point. And for those dot points, what I've also done, I've made a multiple choice question videos. So There's one video which covers all the multiple choice questions from past HSC exam papers from 2001 to 2011. There's also, there are five short answer question videos. These are five short answer questions from the past HSC. These are hard HSC short answer questions, um, which are based on this topic. There's also a scientific term video. Now this video covers all of the scientific terms, which are mentioned in your syllabus dot points, but also throughout the actual video. And then we've got a summary video. And this is usually between at 10 and 20 minutes long and just summarizes all of this content. I would recommend to go through them in the order of one to whatever it is, in this case one to eight. But if you don't want to or if you don't have the time or if you feel you're quite comfortable with all the other ones anyway, you can just go and pick whichever one you feel you don't know that well yet. And the summary video is obviously really good as well in general. Um, but yeah, that was, that was basically it. And when it comes to watching, make sure you also watch the first video of this playlist, which is the introduction to the production of material module, and enjoy as well. If you have any feedback, comments, or anything else, just leave it in your videos. Any questions, leave it in the comments section of the videos, and we'll try to answer it as soon as possible. But I hope you enjoy the actual chapter itself. Thank you for watching.